In this session, we are going to discuss few problems which have appeared in J Main, J Advance in previous years, and these problems will be solved using the critical thinking process. This critical thinking process will covers the conceptual approach, and using the critical thinking process, we can. achieve the correct answer in minimum possible time it will help to score at the higher level in j main and j advance paper we have to find the force on water on one side of this section by water on the other side of this section and the section is a b c and d right what you can see the atmospheric pressure at each point will be p not right and hence if the pressure at each point on the section a b c d will be p not then the force exerted will be simply p not into area of a b c d and the area of a b c d is given by this a b into b c the area is 2 r into h that means the force exerted by the atmospheric pressure p not will be simply p not into 2 r into h that means the option c and d will be eliminated and the option a and b will be the correct possible answer because in the option a the the force exerted by the atmospheric pressure p not will be 2 p not into rh in the option b it will be 2 p not into rh right now in the option a this force cannot be possible by the water because you can see that a force exerted by the water will be rho gh into pi r square and this force will be exerted by the water at the bottom at the base right because the at the base pressure at each point will be rho gh and hence the force exerted by this water column at the base will be rho gh into pi r square where pi r square is the area of the base that means this one is the force exerted by the water column at the base it cannot be the force exerted by the water column at the section a b c d and hence this option will be eliminated and the remaining option which can be correct will be the b and hence the correct option will be b